Hello and welcome to BKB's Top 10 Knockouts. And boy, have we had some knockouts over the last 21 shows. With me, the owners of BKB, Joe Brown and Jim Freeman. And guys, I said some knockouts. I mean, we've seen some belters. Yeah, well, we just spend, didn't we, like... 40 minutes, 50 minutes looking through, and it was arguing it, about which ones yeah, to go in. Tough, wasn't it? Could have got 25 in. Yeah, yeah, could have done. Yeah, well, the shortlist was 25, wasn't it? Yeah, we should have done 25 yeah. knockouts. Yeah, 25. Well, what we're doing over the next few days, we're going to have a knockout a day, starting today with what will be number 10. But before that, obviously, everybody involved, BKB, all the fans, desperate to know what's happening when they're going to be back to see the shows. What can you tell them? Well, I had a chat yesterday. Um, where are we now? October the 14th. So I had a chat with O2 yesterday, management there, and they're saying we're looking at maybe January, which I'm over the moon with. It will be social distancing, but we can make that work. So hopefully January we're back and we're going to cram them in. I think it's been withdrawal symptoms. You can see on social media, everybody's been desperate to, even the, not just the fighters, but the fans are desperate for their fix of BKB. The, the, the field companies as well. So, for instance, um, we just signed with Match TV for, for Russia, which is their biggest sports channel, um, owned by the President Putin. Um, and and they, they, they're saying to me, how many shows can you do next year? And we, because we've got an overspill of shows from this year to next year, we're hopeful maybe even 10 shows next year, isn't it? Yeah, we'll stick 10 on if we can. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Fun. Absolutely amazing. Well, today we're talking knockouts. Yeah. And uh, a lot of us like to see purists fighting skill and technique. But there's nothing like a knockout, is there? That's what people come to see, the knockout. I think that's what it's all about for me. Fighting's all about the knockout, that big hit. It's the same as football, you can watch it, but you want to see the ball going in the back of the net. Correct. That's the end of it, you know, same with fighting. It's all about who gets put on the canvas and who's standing there, basically. So, guys, tell us about number 10. Who did you choose? Um, yeah, well, number 10, it was difficult. Like we said, we had a short list of 25. Um, there was a couple of knock knockouts from the early days I want to mention that we couldn't use because the footage was not good enough. So it was John Spencer versus Josh Foreman, yeah. which is the guys that remember were there. That was, a, that was a, a great knockout. And Jimmy Sweeney versus Christian Evans. There were two great knockouts, but unfortunately the footage from the early days where we was filming on phones and stuff just doesn't permit us to put the knockout on there. So we couldn't squeeze... Our times have changed, eh? Shows how far BKB's come. Yeah, definitely. Quality. So what have you chosen then? Number 10. Um, Scott Midgley, uh, Chris Wilden. Top 10. Uh, so, number 10. Scott Midgley, pretty boy. Scott Midgley. Yeah. Tell us about the knockout. What, what, what makes that special? Well, this was, this was the early days. It was in the Colwick Hall in Nottingham. It was for a British title. Both lads were not the best technically boxers, it's safe to say, but both would come out and have a swing. Um, it literally left... Chris Polax in the ring. He was through the cameras with his head out there. It was, it was, yeah, it was the first knockout I remember in the early days that was really, really heavy. The crowd went mental, yeah, didn't they? It was yeah. one of them. It really got everyone standing up and uh, everyone was going, including us. <laughs> well, let's have a look at it now. <laughs> see exactly what you mean there we just watched it the unbelievable punch that that ended the fight what happened to those fighters i wonder um things just moved on wasn't it you know like you know it's the same as everything like your favorite football team the players change but you support your team it was just the same as that like i i said earlier 
it's safe to say they weren't both the best technical boxers. So things just moved moved forward from them. You know, Scott and Chris both had a few losses before they went, and it's it just it's a results business. Like when you go up to the Premier League, you get better players. Exactly that. Well, well you know, Scott would always come and fight. You have to give him that. You know, and that day he certainly came and had a good fight. But um, as, as Jim says, you know, things do move on. That's the whole point. We're, we're going up. You know, they've done a great job for us, both of them. And we wish them well. Well, number nine is also a real belter. Number nine. A great choice, by the way, number nine. And that's next. Stick with us here on BKB. Number nine. We'll be over the next day or so.